The shifter is now fixed. I had to reposition it and it's good now. That's the funniest shit ever, like pulling up to someone with your window down and their windows down, <laughs> kind of just looking at each other. But this thing drives so good, honestly. <laughs> Tell me in the wild. Oh shit, another told me in the wild. Oh, should I hit him with the fox? Wait for it. Oh! Like super in love with this thing and it's not even tuned or on E85 yet, so I can only imagine. Sheesh. hit three pounds that fast. <laughs> Dizzle. My boy White being in mirrors. Drifty over here. We got the 400. What up, man? <laughs> Check the ruckus out. It's going crazy. How you good? <laughs> got the Nismo UTR. The 86. Okay. Some clean whips. My boy Oscar. This thing looks crazy. The interior is fire. you guys a good look at the boop, bro. Slammed on the Meisties. And my boy got a Tomei on that thing. Tomei's, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I think he's gonna do some flybys on the FD.
right, guys. So Saul gave me the okay that I could do a pull. He said it's not gonna fucking blow up. It's not. It's not fully tuned, but it's not tuned to where it's unsafe. We'll do a tiny little hit over here just so you guys can hear it. But uh, so far, man, she's actually running really good. There's nothing really um, concerning as of right now. I mean, I've been driving it all day besides what happened earlier with the fuel rail, but I just got to get another oil pressure sensor and see if that fixes the oil pressure problem because the oil pressure is definitely not that high right now. This is wrong. It's definitely wrong. <laughs> Should be a little bit lower. Brand new O2 sensor for the AF literally work and doesn't work i'm just gonna do a second gear though because i don't know what my af is reading so kind of want to check the boost too there she is overall I definitely have to say I guess today was a success um, we made it through <laughs> without having to put this thing on a tow bed and bringing it back so that's a that's a plus man She's definitely running good as of right now there's really no issues um, like I said the whole thing earlier with the fuel rail that was just because of the lower manifold was stripped I feel like for the last two and a half years since we started this project there's just been a big big ass weight just chilling on my shoulder and like finally I feel like that weight is kind of relieved um, especially after the day driving it and just even that little bit of boost that I hit right now it just like it made me feel so damn good because I'm like damn man the car is actually on the road as long as I don't have any major issues um, you guys will definitely start seeing this thing outside more. I'm possibly thinking about maybe taking it to the event this weekend, which is going to be at Irwindale. You know, I drove it around the city and she did fine, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be fine if I take it on a 30, 40 minute drive. So um, I'm not too sure. Regardless, if I don't take this, then we're just going to take the beast. So I just really want to take this just because it's been so long that it hasn't been outside. It's the S15's time to shine now. So I just want to be outside with the car. That was today. I didn't want to make this video too long. So I pretty much just made it two parts. So um, yeah, guys, like always, man, I appreciate you for tuning into the videos. Be sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I know you guys want to see more of this car now, so definitely stay tuned. Catch you guys in the next video.